Hey everyone, I'm Keisha Charmaine and I'm back and I'm here to show you three braided lock styles. Of course, you can do this with locks, braids, twists, long hair. These styles will look best with bra strap length hair and longer. So the first braided style is very, very simple. I didn't execute it that well. This is my first time braiding my hair with my acrylics and it kind of threw me off but you get the picture and it still looks really good because my hair is on point my curls are lit so basically you're just gonna corn roll your hair on one side of your head to the other side and what that does is it helps to keep the hair on one side so it gives you like a a very full side style which is very glamorous very beautiful very elegant especially with the curls. You can secure the braid with an elastic, pointy tail holder, what have you, but I didn't need to because I'm doing other styles to show you guys, but also I wouldn't need to anyway because I can just simply leave it and the weight will keep it together as well as the friction. So if you're doing this style with braids or twists, you may need an elastic because you don't have the friction that locks provide to hold it in place. So the second style involves a cornrow at the top of your head. So from one side to the next, cornrow your hair along your hairline. You can make it as thick or as thin as you want to, but I suggest making it a nice medium thickness. And then you keep on braiding down. So now you're not cornrowing anymore. Now you're braiding downwards. While you grab a few strands from the other side of your head, and add it into the braid. So what that does is it kind of traps all of your hair in between the webbed hair and the braid. And as you know, a braid consists of three strands weaving together. When you grab the locks or the braids of the twist from the other side of your head, make sure that you incorporate it into the strand that it will naturally flow into when you're braiding it in. So I'm going to do this as far as I can, you know, with my locks being different lengths. It, it's a, it became a bit of a struggle towards the ends. And also it got really thick. So I just stopped when I felt so. And I secured it with an elastic. And this is another side style. Now that I think about it, these are all side styles. All three of these styles are to the side. <laughs> and to the same side, I believe. So last but definitely not least, we're going to create a braid that resembles a fishtail braid, but it's really not. It's a braid-like style, but it's really a basket weave. Now, a basket weave is basically when you grab strands from either side and you crisscross them together, making them secure and tight. As you can see, it's very simple. I'm just grabbing about two or three locks at a time from each side, making sure that all my locks are inside, and then I crisscross them. Again, as I get towards the ends, it gets a little tricky as my locks are becoming, you know, different lengths and it gets really thick. So I just stop right there and I tuck any locks that may be poking out. And that's it, that's the style. It's like a basket weave braid, fishtail, appearance situation I don't know girl I don't know girl <laughs> but let me know what you think which style is your favorite the first one the second one or the third one I think the first one you know is the simplest I've definitely done that time and time again the second style is very pretty I love the intricate look to it and the third style is definitely my fave let me know what you think leave a comment below follow me on Instagram at killer does that Make sure you subscribe, thumb this video up, and please share it. Thanks for watching. Love, light, and locks.